covered your favorite podcast with your favorite host Laura Lee and Manny M U A. Manny M U A. Hey. Manny M U A. Hey. Hey. What is up, you guys? How are you guys doing today? It's so funny because whenever we do our blog shooting, because we film like two Tell episodes a day. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, attempt- he's attempting. Attempting. <laughs> it's You've an attempt. Teach him. It's something. I, you know, I, I, I feel like I've tried to teach both of you guys, and it's hard to do. He's not willing to really learn. That's he's true. He's not willing he just to wants put to the be work like, in for helicopter hands. He's like this. He's a mess. <laughs> He's he is a, a full time mess. Full time mess. F O O L. Full mess. What were you saying? I feel like it's so funny whenever we film like the first episode after the two weeks, I'm always like, "What's up, you guys?" We're like back. it just it just feels like oh, we're back. you know what I mean? Because we have we film every two weeks, yeah. two episodes that day, yeah. And so it's kind of like shoot. we block shoot. So it's like when we're back, I'm like, oh. and we're back. It just like peace. We love it. Inner peace. Don't be his panic. Be his peace. Guys, we're, we're, this is random, <laughs> but we're looking for a person that can turn these couches a magenta pink. Mm-hmm. And we, we've been trying to find some online that are similar size mm-hmm. and this special magenta color. It's impossible. Kind of similar. Well, this sign looks a little lighter on White camera. On than, yeah. yeah. But we want to, we want to like spice it up, but it's impossible. So we're looking for someone who can, what's it called? What's it called? Reupholster? When, reupholster. Reupholster. These couches with just like a velvety fuchsia material. That'd be, I think that would look so cool if we had fuchsia magenta couches. So if anyone knows of an upholsterer. In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. So it's kind of a specific thing, but. Just please help us. Please help us and comment down below if you yeah. know someone because we've looked and we looked and we looked. And the thing is, these couches actually fit so well in here because our rooms, like specifically the space, yeah, we have. It's like they're fo- so perfect, but we kind of want to switch it up here and there. And we need like the right shade of pink. And they like either the couches are huge or if they're small enough, they're like a weird pink, like either a baby pink or bubblegum pink. Yeah, and we're looking for more of a fuchsia velvet, which is so specific, and obviously that's why we're having trouble finding. What I don't we're want Pepto Bismol pink. <laughs> We don't want to be nauseous. No. You know? So I figure, I'm like, Manny, I think we're going to have to go we'll have to ask. down the reupholster. Yeah, we're going to have to start, and we're gonna have to start asking questions. We are. We are. We are. Because we've both looked, and I can't find shit. Yeah. And Laura can't find shit. And Laura knows things. I know the websites to look on. She knows on. and still hasn't. I have so that's, scoured. And that's when you scoured. know. I've, I've dabbled. You know. I'm a dabbler. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, can't find it. Can't <laughs> One find side it. later, I'm like, you guys, this is really hard. I can't find anything. Wow. Because I'm just, I don't know the sites like you do. So we are trying to get it together, guys. <laughs> We're just trying to live out here. <sighs> also, you know, I have to say thank you guys for all the positive comments from our last episode. Yes, that was so fun to it was, film and talk. So, yeah, it was like really, really nice. Like for so many people I had commented and they were like, you know, like a lot of people like said like that was our favorite episode because it was just like actually like a very awesome. deep combo that we've had and we don't really do that as often on full coverage. Yeah. So it was just nice to see those comments because there was a ton of them and they were just really, really, really sweet. I got sweet. a lot of people whenever I talked about motivation comes from doing it doesn't mm-hmm. just appear that really resonated with some people. Yeah. And that makes me really happy because I think people assume that like successful people or people that work out a lot or, you know, do things that normally takes a lot of motivation. They just wake up with all that motivation. And the truth is they don't. Mm -mm. They just are able to get going and then to build that motivation as they're moving. But I promise you like, Fitness people do not wake up excited to go to the gym every morning. No. It's something they're able like, to power oh, shit, through. I gotta, I gotta make it happen. Because yeah. you know that once you're there, you're going to feel good. You gotta, once you're there, you're going to feel good. Mm-hmm. And that's just how it goes. So that was really cool. Motivation equals movement. Yeah. Got to get up and move, baby. Should we, get, should we get a motivation tattoo on your forehead? I don't think so. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna I, let I people, feel like that's a good idea. I'm just going to let people figure out their own I journeys. want to be an M like this. Just mm-hmm. one M. I'm not sure. Motivation going down like this. O-T-I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's my journey yeah, since I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm out of the tattoo game. Yeah, no know? more tattoos for you. I got a doozy and I'm done. Once you get the one doozy though, it'll take you out. Yeah, it took me out of the it'll game. It'll take you and out I of the game. I see everybody enjoying their life and their mm-hmm. little cool quirky tattoos all over their body. Manny. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, never again. No, I can't. I'm traumatized. But I do get jealous at how fun that is. I know it's fun. Yeah. No, it is It is fun. It's fun to get pierced and tatted. Oh, I got pierced. Yeah, you'll but get pierced. But my ear hole won't heal, so I'm just going to take that <laughs> out too. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Does Wait, it this hurt? Is my, this is my pit. Okay, go, go right into pit. Right into pit. Boom. So, guys. 
Let's okay. talk about it. I got this double piercing and it's cute <gasps> AF. Oh, from the freaking event. Yeah, it's like so bomb. I'm Let's obsessed. But every time I get a piercing. It looks bruised. Does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like purpley there. <laughs> I swear to God. My ear is going to rot <laughs> off, y'all. No, it doesn't, Manny. <laughs> Just a little at the top one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just a so little. It's the top one that won't heal. The See, I can, I can one, tell it's the top one. The bottom one is 100% healed. It's done. It feels like my other piercing. Like, How do you get out. it to heal? I don't know. I thought it was just like salt water and like. I've used it. I did exactly what they told me to do. Mm-hmm. But it's just, and the thing is, I've had them in worse situations. Like this one is not throbbing or like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. honestly, it's really barely, 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 barely even sore. Okay. But it's still like crusty it and aches. gross. It aches. Mm-hmm. So it's just, guys, what's going on with piercings? <laughs> what's going, what's on going on with her ear hole? <laughs> I would like to also. It's time putting what's going on on. No, okay. <laughs> what's I thought going, you what's on? going on? I. I've had these piercings forever and they don't, of course, crust or anything like that because yeah. they're fully, fully healed. But I want a second hole. Second hole, you'll be fine. It's, it's, it's the, when you get up in here. When you get up in that cartilage, baby, it's a you're story. in the danger zone. I've okay? never had cartilage piercing in my whole life. Because this lower one, if you look closely, it is a lobe. It's, done. it's more of a lobe. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it heals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I, I mean? Feel, it's yeah. not like really, but this one's more of a cartilage. What about if you got an industrial across? Um, like, I would rather chop <laughs> half my ear off because the pain and trauma, it must be to get that piercing i used to want an industrial of course you did years of course you did i was like i'm gonna re- this is like when i was in my rebellious like yeah you know fa- like so cool. <laughs> anarchy anarchy you know i was very <laughs> me back then <laughs> like when i had got my tongue pierced i was like oh, i'll get an industrial next yeah and then i was like mm. no i won't yeah and i'm glad i did it because i I'm feel like that'd be you rough. Got your tongue pierced i feel like that's a doozy that was and my first excel- piercing. oh my god it was my literal like I'm queer, hear me roar. It was very that energy for me. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it was like, I'm gay. Wow. And I want the world to to know. know. That makes so much sense. Yeah, I'm coming out. Mm -hmm. And then once you got famous online, you were like, we can take the tongue piercing out now. Everyone knows. No, honestly, it was the the veneers. (laughs) Oh, why? That's why I took it out. Specifically, because it would chip them. Because it would chip them. And you know, I had a bar that was fit to my tongue. Like, it was not like it was. Loosey goosey. No, it was like. Ugh. It was like a perfect little placement, but I was like, no, I don't want to even risk my teeth. So I took not, the, I took it out. It. Not worth it. No, I was like, I'll get another piercing. So that's your pit. Is What's the yours? non-healing? A rotten ear. That would rotted be Rotted ear. Yeah. <laughs> rotted Great. ear. Great. Okay, got it. So the, the ooze dripping ear. Ew. <laughs> it's giving like the TikTok ooze things that you like. It's pissing me off. I would get pissed off too. Like, I'm Especially if you like were to lay on that ear. I am now sleeping on it through the pain because I'm sick of not sleeping on that side because this is my sleepy side. <laughs> so I'm just Your left, your sleepy? That's my, my sleepy. My left's my sleepy. Uh, I don't know why it is. I'm right-handed. And I don't, me too. Oh, and weird. I don't know why. Me either. I want. I can't really sleep well just on my back like this. I can't either. I can't. I and had, I want to. Manny, I had to master doing that for like three weeks when I first got this beers. <laughs> I had to master the the back slip sleepage, but that's so good for your skin because you don't get I wrinkles. I know, wrinkles, but I Ugh. need to sleep on my side. I've got to start sleeping on my back. I'm going to start strapping, Again, you're strapping <laughs> myself to the bed like this, like an insane asylum. It reminds me, oh my God, Memoirs of a Geisha. There's like yeah. the movie. There was like, she had to sleep on this like little tiny like wooden thing here. And if you didn't, like if you felt slipped, you slipped or something like all that rice would get in your hair and it would take forever to pick it out why would they like do geisha, that I, I guess it's like a geisha thing that's like to be so very horrible. very just like you know very wow poison pristine and pussy Honey, i'm a wild animal no, literally you're feral i I'm know feral. you're feral i'm feral you're a fucking feral <laughs> cat when you're sleeping i you know what i had mastered that when i i will say this when i got my hair transplant laura <laughs> no, lee no, no, i couldn't no. sleep this way i had to sleep like this Oh my god! I had to sleep at a forty-five degree angle for a week. <gasps> no, I had to sleep on my couch. How like did this. you do? That? <laughs> Propped Manny, up with I a pillow in by, and you were sleeping I like, like that. This. I would call nine one. <laughs> Oh I literally like this <laughs> for a week no. because you can't like let your blood rush there to like destroy the follicles. Oh, so you're supposed to say like elevated for a while. Oh my god! And I, I, I wasn't well. No, and the only way that I went actually to sleep was because they also give you pain medication 
that makes you kind of sleepy oh, because obviously so you had a surgery to knock you so out. it kind of like knocks you out but i was like if i didn't have that it'd be a wrap i can promise you right now i would have definitely fallen over at some point in my head would have you would have done a headstand head yeah i would have woke up sleeping upside bleeding down from your follicles <laughs> just bleeding. Blood. literally because that's a, just like little holes in your skin i'm Manny. like I, can't, I was, and I was so scared because so I'm like I really can't go over because if I that bleed out in your pit of the week <laughs> that's trauma right there that's more of a traumatic experience Dang. for me uh, that wasn't my pit Damn. <laughs> but you know what it's okay because my pit and my peak are the same well you just shook me oh that's great so like I I am combining my peak and my pit I didn't know that about you see we don't know everything about each other not everything I didn't know he slept sitting up for a week for his hair transplant <laughs> do you remember when I sent you a photo and I looked like an ant <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys you know what i literally my because my head was so swollen up here i, I need you to think of me as mega mind okay i was giving mega mind oh like my this God. and i was so swollen here that i looked like i was an ant like i had a nose like this i literally i think everything's funny so when you send me pictures like that i'm like dying no because i looked so you funny look so different i literally you guys think the ants movie the that, ants movie when they have that face like that that's what he looked that was me <laughs> <laughs> i look like an ant terrifying <laughs> with a little neck like this <laughs> and my head was like this oh my god blown up damn the stuff you go through man that's tough and you guys that's i tough. it was trauma but i'm glad i did it yeah I'm glad it, it turned out great it turned out good but my peak in my pit are the fact that I just sold my house. Oh my God. I just sold my Ooh. house. I So I've been wanting to sell my house for, I would say a month now. Yeah. Like I had put it up for about a month and I've been wanting to sell it for a while, but I was like, you know, I need to find a place I really like and moving forward and going to. So I ended up just signing papers literally over the weekend. Oh my so gosh. Tuesday. So it just, just happened. I finally sold my place. And the reason that it's my pit too is that I have a 30 day escrow. Oh, so so baby, I have 30 days to leave my house. The makeup now. Now. <gasps> we need to do a part two of my fucking you, bitch, like you actually better hurry. like actually okay, i need to film a fucking part two that's on the books let's that's on the, that books. On the books. <laughs> it's on the books i have to do it regardless i'm like laura you want to come over or not yeah. i have to do this right now yeah um so that's like my piss that i have 30 days to get out of my house wow and, and, and like honestly of course go? so i found another place i like okay found another place i really really like and i ended up putting an offer in there oh did ya i ended up just putting the Which offer one? in you can't say. I'll show you. I'll, sh I'll show you. I'm like, give us the I said, address. I, said, I sent you the um listing. The listing. Okay, I remember. But I ended up just placing it. Just because, okay, at least like I can go somewhere. Yeah. Because I did like the house. I liked the area. Um, so everything about it, I was like, okay, this it is like, really a really good. nice spot. It looked great. Um, so I ended up just placing like so literally, and it went into escrow on Saturday. I placed offer on the next place on the Sunday. Oh wow! So it literally was like so oh my gosh. quick because I was like, okay, I only have thirty days to get out of my house. So I'm like, can I do a twenty day escrow on the one I want to buy? Are you waiting now on their response to the offer? Um, they are basically accepting it. Okay, but now it's like they have this week to kind of fix some problems at the house. Has. Okay, okay. Like some like kind of like some like there was like a, a roof issue where it's like there's like a leak in some spot, so they have to fix that. Snap. Little things like that. So they essentially accepted my offer. Oh, but now it's about snap. like the what's it called? Um. Like, you know, when they people go in the inspections, oh, so now it's about the inspection, yeah, appraisal, all that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. all those things obviously are such a huge part of how selling okay. no one talks about. So, there's contingencies, yes. But, okay. like, luckily for me, because I don't have to be contingent with selling my house to get this house, yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I was like nervous, I was like, so how am I gonna like do this? Where yeah. I have 30 days exactly, and then I have to like move into the next one in like a couple days, like, it was very too much. I'm like, yeah. you know what, I'll just what happens happens and i'll put my down payment down for the next one and then i'll get my money out from the house that i just sold perfect you know so that's kind of where we're at right now so i'm a little stressed i feel like when it rains it pours it does because it's like just so many things going on at the same time and i have like a family vacation like next week oh my for god for four the five trip. days <gasps> and i'm like oh my god i have 30 I days to get out of that. this fucking house so it's just kind of like a lot going on at one time at one time so that's kind of my pick because i Dang. and whenever i feel overwhelmed or stressed like in these things i'm not as creative yeah i don't know if that happens to you like oh, yeah. i don't feel 
creative. I don't feel like making content. Like I just get so overwhelmed. Yeah. That I'm so focused on all these other things. That I'm like, I'm so creatively drained almost. Well, it's hard because creating content is not like a job where you just like have to go know in, know how to do it. You just clock in and mm -hmm. you know how to do it. And the job's there and you just do it. Yeah. Creating content is one being creative, one being on, one working hard, mm -hmm. one putting a lot of energy, a lot of time. On something, finding Inspirational, it. motivation, like all those things go mm -hmm. into it. So that's why obviously you guys have seen for years and years content creators quit and burn out yep. because it's not just like a job that you just do mm -hmm. it's like a job you have to invent every day and you don't want to do the same exact thing you just did so no. it's like constantly doing something different or tweaking it you're like literally doing creating insane, your different. own job yeah and that can and be it's self motivating and yeah it it's is a self motivated job like you you are your own boss so like if there's moments when you don't feel like when you're depressed and you can't do it then you just can't do the job yeah because it's yeah. like you are your own boss right but then that means like even when you aren't feeling like it you have to do it anyway yeah because that's part of the job it's part of the gig it's part of the gig it's, it's what it's what it comes with but yeah, so I feel like I'm a little stressed and Manny MIA. Ooh, I slightly, love it. Slightly a little Manny MIA, just a I little bit. I love it. Um, but I feel like it's gonna all work out. I'm very much that person where I'm like glass half full. Yeah. It's gonna work out, it's gonna be fine. It will. I'm gonna make it work and we're gonna be sickening and great. That's but right. But I'm just a little stressed. Well, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna come right back For with your pit. my peak. 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 Thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, I cannot be the only one that drops my phone all the time. I've literally, when I'm on my bed and I'm looking up at the screen, I've, I'm not, I've literally hit my face with honey, my phone and, and I'm like, is it gonna crack? Literally. I have a thick skull. On that hard head, honey. I have a thick skull, <laughs> but you know what? That's why you get a case. But of course, I don't want it to look ugly, bulky, plasticky, you know, nothing like that because that would make my phone look absolutely terrible. That's why we want something sleek, slim, and protective. That's why I love Caseify. I've had a Caseify phone case on my phone for over two years a now. A gazillion years. And cannot tell you how many times I've dropped it. My phone has never broken once because it's engineered with innovative shock absorption patent technology. It's called Chi Tech 2.0 mm. and it makes phones drop proof for up to 9.8 feet. They also have a 360 degree production and ultra slim style. I love that so much. I also love the fact that there's like tons of prints, tons of designs. Yeah, You know, and you can kind of like personalize a gift. I have so many. I put yourself. my name on. It's so exactly, cute. Exactly. Because you can. I Honestly, Kisify is so dope. I was so excited when I saw this. I was like, oh, I love Kisify. Also, their crush cases are made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials. So you guys mm -hmm. can feel good about your phone case. I love that. You guys, what you can do is get one of the most protective, cool looking and environmentally friendly phone cases the internet has to offer. Go to Kisify.com and use our code 15 Fool. Or use the link in our description to get 15% off your Caseify order. That's 15% off with code 15 full at Caseify.com. All right, we are back and we're going to talk a little bit about my pit and then we're going to jump into today's topic. I your mean, my peak. peak. Oh I my gotcha. Gosh. I gotcha. Oh. My I influenced peak. you. Okay, so my peak is this weekend, this past weekend, mm -hmm. me and Ty flew our families out to the West Coast, which I don't think we've ever flown out like uh, this many members. Mm -hmm. It was 12 of us in total. Everyone. Yeah. And we flew them to Lake Tahoe, which is this magical place in North Cal Stunning. Ca uh, California. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like Yosemite with a massive lake. It's mm -hmm. so cool. And it's one of mine, Tyler, and Aaron's favorite places. And we try to go every year. So this year we're like, oh, let's take our whole families and do this big trip, which Ty is the leader and the planner of. He does such a good job. And the I'm kind of just there for the ride. Uh, I do. do you book too? Yes. He books every single thing and keeps up with every single flight. Every single Airbnb, that every engineer rental, brain like is everything. Going. And I literally don't know what's happening. You show up. Yeah, I show up. And I you show live. Up. And you live. And I thrive. And you thrive. I'm a yep. great entertainer, though. I must You say. are. You know what? You are. And I that's a say. job in itself. It is. You know, I do what I can. You can't like you like where there needs to be entertainment on set. Right. So we're boat people, as people from Alabama are a lot of times, so yeah. water people. So we're like, obviously, we had to get uh, rent a boat. There's 12 of us. Ty, like, found this company that rents yachts. And uh. 
obviously, whenever we go to the lake in Alabama, we just rent a pontoon boat and literally yeah. all 12 of us spend all day on it, just yeah. partying and living it up right on top of each other mm -hmm. on, on the itty bitty boat. And so this time I was like, I think I want to rent a yacht and surprise everyone. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, none of these people have ever been on anything bigger than like a pontoon boat. Mm -hmm. So like- A that, pontoon is like a- a pontoon, it's a it, it, it's it's, it's like, like a, a family. Nope, not a speedboat. It's like a family mm. cruiser. Okay. It's like a family like a minivan, cruiser. But a boat. It's a minivan. If minivan was a boat, it's okay. a pontoon. Gotcha, and gotcha. And that's what we always get. We're pontoon people. And miniboat. Yeah. Got it. So we Ty's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna book this 40 foot yacht and not tell anyone and then it'll just pull up and we'll surprise them. Mm -hmm. and we're like, okay. And we're there um, on the pier, just sitting kind of on the lake beach thing, waiting on the boat. Cause it was running a little bit late. And at the, like our whole family's just sitting there chilling, talking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the sun. And this massive yacht pulls up and Tyler's mom hits my shoulder. And there's tons of boats out there. Cause where the rain is, she hits my shoulder. Uh -huh. She goes, Hey, Laura, our boat's here and starts busting out laughing. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, right, Terry. Yeah. You know, I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, I was like, sure. wouldn't that be nice? And ha, ha, ha. So then that yacht pulls up to the pier and there's like 20 boats at the pier, mind uh -huh, you, just uh -huh. lining it. Mm -hmm. And we're like, our boat's here, guys. Let's go. So they still don't know the yacht's ours. Right. So then we're all on the line walking down the pier and we get to the end of the pier and Ty starts talking to the guy on the yacht uh -huh. and he starts to get on it. And you should have seen our family's faces. They the, looked at him like he was about to be arrested. No, like, get, like off get off the, the boat. boat. Like, get, what are you doing? Get off the boat. And whenever I turned around, I was like, oh, this is our boat for the day. They, they look screamed. like, yeah, they look like they've seen a ghost. A go I was just like, they're like, uh, what? Uh, what? They were what? shook. What? Like they were so just so 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 shook. It was they're so cool. Blown. Yeah, they were mind blown. It was so awesome to be able to do that. So <gasps> it was so cool. Just That's so cute. Yeah, and we had the best time. We spent from like ten a.m. to five p.m. on the yacht. Yeah. Wow. That's how we seven hours on the water. Honey, if you say water to me, we're not going home until the sun's going down. It's true. It's She's the a beach water too. girl. Don't Lee. invite me to the beach if we're not staying. Yeah, for twenty four hours. hours at least. Yeah. So it's very true. Laura is a so water girly. Cool. I'm a water girly. I'm a Wait, beach from girly. Alabama. Yeah, that's like what we do. It's like there. that's so like that's, that's the big the thing. That's the thing, honey. And you're also like your skin takes like the sun in so nicely and you're just it like it's gorgeous i'm made for it you're ma you're made for the sun i am and i love it it's my favorite pastime activity is being outside and the biking, beach the water beaching, liking anything near getting those, water i heard that like if you're by the ocean and ocean air like there's like these endorphins that it releases oh, yeah. in you there's like yeah. these little like molecules or something that it, like releases that it's just like this like calming energy it's Literally my favorite thing in the world. And it doesn't even matter like what beach, what lake. Mm -hmm. I'm good. As long as there's just My water. next spot I want to go to is the Ozarks though. That's my <gasps> next lake. Like where the show's filmed. Yeah. Wait, is that? It's actually filmed I think in Georgia. That's, that's a real thing? Missouri is where the Ozarks are. And Got I, it. I just want to go. It's, is it it's, lake? Is Ozark oh, yeah, a lake? yeah, they're massive lakes. Got it. But they're supposed to be really cool um, because Lake Powell, whenever we were there in Arizona, mm -hmm. Utah, Lake mm -hmm. Powell, um, we met some people on the lake. We didn't know them, but we were just hanging out with them. And they said they just came from the Ozarks and they're like the coolest lakes ever. Really? I was like, once it's on my list. It's happening. It's happening. Once it's on the list, it is officially happening. So next year I want to try to go to the Ozarks. I think that'd be a great idea. Right? And I love that you got to do that with your family. Like that's Me too. So, it was so, so freaking cool. awesome. They're still texting us about it and talking about it. Like, does anyone have pictures of the boat? We want to send <laughs> yeah. it to friends and family. We want to post it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, I'm like, no. On no one took a picture, but that's okay. I love it. So cute. But mm. shall we dive in? We shall dive into our rapid fire, because that's what we're doing today, by the way. We yep. didn't even say that at the beginning. Oh. But, yeah, I mean, from the title, the title, you guys know it's going to be a rapid fire year. We have a couple topics that you want to hit. Oh, yeah. For today's full coverage at B. episode i feel like we should talk about the doozy first oh my god the doozy that keeps on doozing there's a stinker on tiktok and there, we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna flush them out stinker is a very nice it. word that i'm using you know what i feel way. like stinker is a really really nice way of doing it's it it's a really nice word for this a person little a little flush. get them out of a there stinker. okay guys okay. 
Miss Tana is doing the Lord's work. She's working Ms. overtime. Miss Tana is working <laughs> overtime. She has officially put her foot down. She is coming for Mr. Monty Lopez. If you don't know who that is, that's Addison's Ray's dad, who's recently been caught up cheating on the mom, where Sherry. they were, Sherry, where mm -hmm. they were separated. But obviously, that's still an issue in many ways. And beyond the cheating behavior, if you scroll through his TikTok and can get it's through concerning. it without. The secondhand embarrassment. I can't. I, I physically actually can't get to it. It's so, it's so, it makes me, <laughs> it makes we, me like. There's Aah. no, there's like no words for it. There's no words. And it's almost just like you're in like shell shock. Yeah, almost. it's shell shock. It's mode. a shell shock behavior. Yeah. So what happened was, so <laughs> Monty made a video. It was like, you know, I want a box young gravy, but it was very cringy where he was like doing this like sound. It's like, oh yeah. yeah. And it was so, like, I literally, feel embarrassed even it was and it's so not even hard me. to watch man. it was i actually struggled i struggled to watch it and so tana commented on being like i'm calling the police joking as like she should, as she should. As but she it's a, should. that's such a joke, it's a joke thing to say it's a joke. he commented back to her saying why about your body count listen up, that about sir. that about took me listen out listen up sir i don't know what fucking year you're living <laughs> in know. but it ain't this one it ain't this time uh -uh. don't be like that's so strange to be like your body count um, all, that's Monty, none of your concern i'm also pretty sure for facts you don't know her body count Ex so where exactly you get like why it would was you very know that weird. it was really weird to say like about your body count over a comment like that like i'm calling the police like he's disgusting that's hor. like what and i feel bad for addison but i also know addison's not getting like any heat for this behavior I mean, it's not they're her fault. all yeah they're all like supporting her at this time you know 100%. what i mean like it, it, things are you know she, everybody's like we're sorry addison this is happening and to sherry and like, sherry of obviously course. everyone's team sherry and addison they're on the right side on. of the situation so i think the reason this is kind of going down is because it, it so it goes back to this thing so i'm like pretty low-key invested in this drama i love it i'm not gonna lie so i because i love sherry yes as you know i an love angel. sherry i love addison i just think that they're really cool and i love their vibe okay so sherry made this funny ass TikTok that was so young gravy a rapper he is like known for like being into MILFs, mm -hmm. right? It's just like a funny thing. That's just like his thing. Mm -hmm. He's a rapper. Has a really, really popular song on TikTok. And so Sherry made a video and was talking and he was like, oh, I, I'm like back in California. Like I'm back here. I want to get like these, these buns or this bread mm -hmm. or something like that. Like kind of like joking around. Sherry makes a video, gets all these canned bis the biscuits, <gasps> that's what it was. Oh, yeah. Gets all these canned biscuits, bakes them. She's like, oh. So very like, who me? You know, like this bread. I can be the bread. I can be the bread. I can be the biscuit. So it was a poke. It was a poke. It was a cute, funny, and I was like, "Bitch, yes, Miss." I commented. I was like, "Show you better fucking be out here in her flirting it got era." So many views and likes so, too. So many. I loved it. I loved it because I was just like, "This is really cool," especially from like the heart situation that you know, the Monty situation. Obviously, like, it's so terrible. So that's why I think he made this like, "Oh, like young gravy, like let's box," and like he doesn't want to box me. You're a grown ass fucking fool. I think he's trying to pull a Kanye here. He, and yeah. like, it's just not happening, dude. He's trying to pull like a uh, everyone boxing right now moment yeah, as well. Yeah, it's not happening. And it's just like a no. So that's why I think he's made the video. That's why yes. this whole like young gravy yes. against young gravy thing. What made me really actually sad was that Sherry ended up commenting on the video being like, you guys might think this is funny, but like, I'm genuinely scared of this man. Yeah. And that made me like, it actually broke my heart. Well, his behavior like on his TikToks that he posts alone, he does seem like a bit erratic. And, uh, yeah. He does. I, do you know why I feel like it is? This is just my personal speculation. Obviously, this is so alleged. I'm like, maybe there's like a, a hormonal imbalance. <laughs> Wherever you're diagnosing this man. <laughs> no, it's because, it's you know, like, men, when they get to a certain age, Dude, there can be like some type of imbalances going on. This lost his mind. That, and I'm going to have to say that. You know what? This is giving signs of like, um... What are they called? Midlife crisis. Well, Tana has also come out. Obviously, Monty's come for her, and she's come out and said, you know, she's caught him snorting coke. Yes. She's caught yes. him making young girls underage. Uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Making mm -hmm. her friends very uncomfortable. On her stories, she went in. Oh, I think I saw this. Yes. No, she had posted on her stories of screenshots of being like, oh, like text. this you. The text, the screenshots, the like him like being awkward around like young girls and like all this weird stuff going on. Oh, I think like truthfully, like this has been going on for a while and I feel like Monty just got like exposed. I think so too. Finally, I like the truth like came out what everybody like secretly knew about him. I think it's more of like an, an industry What's knowledge What's sad thing. is like, 
Addison's not his only kid. He has young sons watching their dad at like a buffoon a online. Fool. A fool. true fool online. And that's sad. That's embarrassing. It's embar- like, that's why like, I have to go am to embarrassed. School. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm embarrassed about it because I feel like, like, don't, can't you see past your own, you know, need for clout for your kids' sake? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm confused. Yeah. I'm like, so you got famous from your daughter. Jet money. Jet money. You got famous from your daughter, and now you think that you're the famous one. And by the way, this happened your own. five minutes ago. Addison's been famous for five freaking for five minutes. minutes. And look at how Act this man is acting. Acting a fool. Act a fool, girl. Act, Act a, fool. a fool out there. It's so it's it's really I'm very intrigued by this because it's so fascinating to see, you know, someone's parents who have gotten like fame from their kid act this way as if it's them that Got made it happen. I know. He it's swears. Very, like, it's a swearing he situation. Swears. He swears. So it's very, very, very interesting to me. And that's kind of why I followed along. So I'm like, what's going on? Especially because I love Sherry and Addison yeah, a lot. So they're great. That's why I'm like rooting for them in this situation. Because I'm like, I can't even imagine like them being so embarrassed and fearful, obviously, when Sherry said. That, that sucks. That is sad. It's horrible. It's horrible. And to deal with it all online. Man. That's crazy. I know. I'm just like, I really hope he doesn't get this boxing match or I mean, I don't There's ever no see that ever coming together, and I hope it doesn't because it's like I think he needs to cool off and hopefully no more attention on him. We're not bringing more attention to that behavior, although the internet does love stuff like that. Well, it's because it's like I think maybe it's in like a, a way watching it's like, a train wreck. It's a train wreck, and it's like I think maybe sometimes like the internet will let you know things that are going on. It's like, hey, listen, like this is kind of like you know sometimes you don't have another perspective yeah and so when you, it's like uh the internet can be like such a mirror to you in yeah. a way to be like oh this is like what's actually going on what you actually sound like and it's not the most appropriate way of going about no. things so maybe you'll see that and be like oh you know maybe like i need to calm it down yeah i'm hoping that's what could happen yeah you know that like to turn it into a positive hopefully you can oh see this and understand that it's doing a lot more harm than good for his family i don't sake. know if he sees anything but we can only other hope. than red other than red we can only hope though it's rough out here. Oh my God. But on to the next, because that is rough. Now, a word from our sponsor Better Help. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. Manny, those are your favorite. Th- that, those are my number one. There's also <laughs> Better Help Online Therapy. You guys, online therapy is just such a great resource for our mental health. For me, I am a huge, huge, huge advocate for therapy. I've done therapy throughout my whole entire life. And truly, I just feel like therapy is almost like a mirror of yourself, right? So yeah. it's like you're talking to someone to be like, hey, like this is how I'm feeling. And they can reiterate things in a way you might not be able to see in that moment. So I think that's why it's really, really cool to try therapy or even, you know, online therapy with BetterHelp. Also, something cool about BetterHelp, I think it's way more accessible. It's way Mm -hmm. more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I also like that it's like you can do video, phone, live chat sessions. You can just do so many options with BetterHelp. I think that's really, really cool because a lot of people just... They don't have a ton of time to like go to a therapist's office. They might want to be just do it at home or don't feel comfortable going to a therapist's office. You guys don't even have to turn on the camera if you don't want to. But what's cool is our listeners are going to get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash full coverage. That's betterhelp.com slash full coverage. to the next our next topic is britney spears new husband sam Sam. Mm -hmm. has gotten words a little shady word action with kevin federline who is britney's baby daddy also Mm ex-husband and they threw some instagram shade at each other when kevin federline started it kevin started it by alluding that her sons don't want to see her which her sons technically weren't at the wedding I right. believe and like so he said sons haven't seen her in months they don't want anything to do with her and it's like why put that out there it's like that's like literally no one's business why did we need why did it why did you need to put that out it's like there her, like kids like i just feel like there's just such weirdness when right it comes to like your underage kids you know what i mean yeah they're underage right well i think one's about to be 18 okay, and the it. other one's underage but they're still, but very, they're still young. very young and mm-hmm. impressionable and at a weird time in their life and like come on their mom's britney spears and she just went through this 
conservatorship. Yeah, like she court and, like, battle. She's so in the public eye right now. Not that she yeah. hasn't been always, but, but like right now it's like it's fired back up. Big it's time. fired back up with with everything going on, and so yeah, it's. I just think find it, I find it very, very strange for him to be like, oh, I feel. And then also he had said the statements about Jamie. I didn't see that part. Oh, my God. He had said like in the same like article, he had said like, oh, yeah, like if Jamie asked to see the kids, I'd welcome them back. Um, the dad or the sister? I think. They're both Jamie. I think the sister. And then he said he felt bad for Jamie, the dad. Oh, my God. So I think it was like I think it was literally like both Jamie's that he was actually talking about in the article that I had saw. <gasps> He had like felt really, he's like, I feel really bad for Jamie. He has like no one. Well, no then, wonder Sam came for him. Exactly. I feel like that's a big reason why. And so, and then he yeah. talked about the sister too, being like, oh, you know, if she were to, you know, reach out, like I would let her be part of the boy, the son's lives, the boy's lives. I'm going to be honest. Bro. That whole situation over there sounds like a train Toxica. wreck, honey. Like a wreck. It's a constant wreck. So Sam replied back to Kevin's online mm. posting about this private stuff saying, well, wait till your kids find out that their dad hasn't worked in over 15 years. The shade. The shade. The shade is all. real. Well, he's basically like, you're a mooch, you're a loser, mm -hmm. and you're here acting like the good guy that the kids want to be. Yeah, you're acting I think that was his point in like the pose. And now Sam does work. I mean, I, he. Totally. He, I've seen him on many red carpets and I've seen him in shows. And mm -hmm. so, so have I. Modeling. Like a little, a little pop up. Yeah. Oh my God. He was, he had like a little moment in loot. Yeah. As a like, yeah, Santa. Exactly. I was like, Bitch, yeah, I know that bitch. Uh huh. He's been here and there. Like he's out. He's like he's he's trying. He's, he's working, trying to make doing, it happen. Yeah. So he is working. So I'm sure that's frustrating. And this is alleged in my speculation, but I would assume Brittany's been paying this dude mm -hmm. alimony mm -hmm. right. or whatnot. So that probably gets under Kevin's uh, Sam's skin, anyways. Because I'm, I'm sure that's like I mean, I'm, how has he not worked in 15 years? I. I'm, and be I'm fine. A, this is my assumption. I would say that would be Britney's fault. What's it what's it called when so like I know so I actually had a friend who ballin'. She okay. was ballin', she has a child. Okay. And her ex, like they had broken up, right? So the court system is basically like she has to pay her ex mm -hmm. a lot of money a month because it's like, oh well, the child needs to have the same amount the same life lifestyle on her side and, and his, his side. side. But she's paying him like crazy that's probably money. what's happened with britney and i wonder if that's the same thing i'm sure that's speculation that's but i'm that sure alimony? i think that's child support um uh, but like a lot like he could literally live off of her child support forever so i'm sure that's how kevin hasn't worked in 15 years i bet that's when what you it think is. speculation allegedly speculation what allegedly could but be. don't you think that sam's probably like dude come on now but also, I mean, at the end of the, at the end, when he goes like, "Keep my wife's names on your fucking yeah. mouth," I was like, "Oh, well, he's speaking up for his woman." He's, I mean, he's defending her and her honor. Yeah, how could like I, I feel like okay, honestly, and it's like Kevin Federline, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Literally, like if I had a man who was like, "Don't talk about my man like that," yeah. I would like drop to my knees right then. She and was there. probably like this. <laughs> That's what I thought. Boop. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. Like that's, that's right. how I would feel. I'd be like, oh my gosh, my man defending me. <laughs> like, I would be like, I would be like, oh, like that's really cool to see someone like a partner like that, like defending. Never me. did I think I would even ever hear Kevin Federline's name again. again. I remember he was obviously her backup dancer whenever she married him, and like everyone freaked out. She was like the most relevant yep. woman in the world, and she married her backup dancer, and everybody was like, oh my god. And then she had two kids with him like that, and I remember it was just like that's boom, all boom, you boom. heard yep. was Britney Spears and, and Kevin, Kevin Federline yeah. forever it in was the shooky. media. It, it was, was so shooky. much drama so shooky and then that's whenever a lot of bad press do you remember start coming out yep. about her being a bad mom mm -hmm. and things like that and i never thought in 2020 we'd be hearing the name kevin federline and britney spears no, drama in again in 2022 i lost some years <laughs> you lost a couple of years. but in like the 2020 era like what here we are also do you know what's funny whenever i this is a random side note tangent whenever i hear the backup dancer i can't help but thinking about a uh, scary movie when she's like with a backup dancer, you know, what we're about? that's nasty. That's nasty. I love that. Oh, uh, isn't that just it's iconic? It's, actually, I think you like actually made me watch my first scary movie. Those are something else, they are a different um, breed. The same writers of White Chicks did those, the Wayne's they're brothers. iconic, yeah. 
that I they've done a lot of I I need them to make some more movies. I would like that. They did Major Pain. Do you remember Major Pain? I don't I never saw that. Oh, it was such a good one. Imagine they did a White Chicks too. Oh girl. I could have sworn like years ago there was like this like there was like talks about potentially doing a a, a white chicks. I feel too. like it just Comedy in Hollywood it shifted. is shifted. That's mm-hmm. that's it, and I just don't think that's in the in the cards for us anymore. Well, I don't think it. Maybe it wouldn't be on like on that kind of no. spectrum of no. comedy. But I, there's still like shows that come. Like I'm watching Loot, mm-hmm. and I think it's fucking funny. Very, Hacks, very funny. I think it's fucking funny. Like I it's still laugh out like loud. Comedy in the theaters is overproduced now. It's too. I produced. think that's what it is. It's more like, it like well written shows more, are different. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think like movies, comedy are a little overproduced, and they get really cheesy really, really quick. It's also because they don't have as much time to like expand on things. So it's like mm-hmm. a show could be really funny because you have an entire season to yeah. like fall for a character. The and movies fall for used jokes. to be really funny. I know. And they're Even just mean girls. Like I don't. I ain't gonna, like, like I feel you don't see, mean see girls that, like that kind of stuff no. anymore. Like Mean Girls, Bridesmaids, oh. like those kind of comedies. They just aren't making them anymore. I I feel like that too. I remember just seeing it's like they one. overproduce it now. Yeah. It's like too produced, too professional. No, jokes you know are too is? corny. Do you know what it is? The the corny jokes. What kills me when they try to get like really Gen Z with it. Oh God. That's like what really it hits a little too hard, and I'm like. You guys are so no. fucking cringy right now being like, Cringe. well, I just tweeted this and they're like talking. I'm like, yeah. And they'll try to use like Gen Z lingo. And like, listen, be, like, I understand. The time. And like, and I get it. Like, I understand like, that's like what, like, you know, that's yeah. how it, it always is. Like when like those pages were out, they were talking about pages and shows. Like, yeah. I get that that's what it is. But sometimes it like tries so hard that it doesn't hit. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate that. It doesn't. I miss it doesn't comedy. Hit. Like, it doesn't I was hit. just like funny for random moments. Yeah. I, I used to literally any comedy come out, I'd be the first one to see it. And I don't really, I watch old comedies a lot, but I don't yeah. really watch new ones as much. I can't even think of a recent movie that I was know, funny. think about that. Like a movie think that was like, oh my God, this that. literally made me laugh out loud. Not a movie in the theater. I literally can't Dude. think of one. Yeah, I feel like they lost their touch. The, 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 yeah. Like because, if we yeah. could get another Mean Girls, oh. that'd be great. That Tina would be Fey, stunning. Amy Poehler. Where's it at? Like, they don't make Tina Fey's and T- Amy Poehler's like that they anymore. They don't. They don't. They don't. Where'd y'all go? I recently watched um, a really great TikTok. It was a clip from Tina Fey and Amy Poehler were announcing George Clooney win, like, person of the year. Uh-huh. And I they exactly literally wrecked his ass mm-hmm. and announced all the amazing accomplishments his incredible wife has ever gotten and they're just like out of this world achievements and they're like well her husband tonight is, is the winner, winner yeah of her, like a person i know exactly of the what you're talking oh, about man. i saw it too i was like wow like but i like that's so funny it's so funny they're and like they're golden the office i mean come on uh, i haven't seen like a lot of the office i've only seen a couple episodes here and there i've watched like the whole but thing like three times it's that's like one of, that's like people's favorite shows have you seen parks and recs I've not seen Parks and Rec. It's Amy Poehler's like version of The Office. Oh, okay. And it's so funny. And it's good? It's really good. They like... had a lot of seasons. It was a really successful run. Oh. Yeah, tons of seasons. Chris I like that. Pratt is in it oh, wait. before he was Mr. Buff. And yes, He was yes. like, yeah. He... And then there's it's really, it's like a girl that's in it with like kind of big eyes yes. and black hair. Yes. She's very like Audrey. sexy, but like, mm. Yeah. Yeah, Audrey. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay, I need to watch that because I've, I've seen it's clips really of that good. all over the place. I feel like you would like it. I think I would. I think I win. All right, our last. Oh wait, two more. Two more. Miss Kimberly and Pete have broken up. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my I'm gosh. just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not happy for anyone to break. Well, no, of course. Well, <laughs> we can't say all that. <laughs> I'm not happy they broke up, but I definitely felt like this relationship was had a timeline. It had its it had its timeline and its mm-hmm. timeline is checked off. It's been ended. It was it was for nine months, right? They did for nine months. Uh-huh. I mean, honestly, like it lasted longer than I was even expecting. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. had thought, like, obviously, in the beginning, I thought that it was like honestly a fluke. I was like, this is not even real. Like this is so like there's no way this is even happening. Mm-hmm. It's all for publicity. Yeah. But I feel like I don't know. I I feel like they really did have something. Do you? I do. Mm. But I am also like a low key hopeless romantic. You are. A and I'm, little. A cynic, I'm cynical with these things. A, I'm a, a baby. Yeah. I'm no, baby. No, you're full. Okay. I'm a full fucking 
blown romantic. romantic in a way where I'm like, oh my God, they, they found love in a hopeless place. And I'm like, no. No, it's fake. No. They're they're liars. Yeah. So um, they broke up. And I'm mostly excited because I'm ready to see who Kim dates next. That's what you're excited about. Yes. You're like, okay, cool, I'm who's like, next? Come on, Miss Kimberly. You know, Holly can pull whoever she wants. She can pull the fuck she wants. She's Kim Kardashian. Whoever she wants. So in that way, uh. I'm like excited to see her next move. What if she went back to Kanye? Uh-uh, she wouldn't. She wouldn't, right? She wouldn't do it. I don't believe she would do it. There was speculation just because. Well, I thought she, that about Tristan and Chloe. We need a moment of silence. <laughs> Let's say a prayer for her. <sighs> all right. That's, that's all you get. That's, that's all you get. get. Mm-hmm. This is turning to Wendy Williams. <laughs> James? James? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Um, How you doing? Oh, I love her. Dude, she's I, an icon, but she's also she's like. She's also like the villain, but yes. she's like an icon. But she's an icon. She's, she's Wendy Williams. She's an icon. She is Wendy Williams. Yeah. Um. So. You know, after Tristan cheating on Chloe, God knows how many times now. I think we've all kind of, it's mixed and mingled in how many times. Like, I don't know if there's an indefinite number. I mean, think of all the things we don't there's know a mingle, about. There's a mix. There's things we don't know about, too. Do you know what I'm sure. laughing at right now? What? So, I just had a flashback of a Wendy Williams clip. <laughs> what you want? And it about took me out. What'd like, you want? it was, oh my God. Death to all of them. Death. No, not even that one. So, this was a clip where she, like, there's like, a, like someone talking. And she goes, she was like, I had to have a confession. Like, it was like something. And she's like, oh, no, you're bulimic. And she was like, no, 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 no. Like, I I got a a surgery. She's like, oh, you cheated. (laughs) I literally, I'm like. Oh, you cheated. Oh, you cheated. Claps for her. (laughs) And literally everyone's clapping. And I remember seeing that. Like, at the time, I like really didn't think as much of it. But now I'm looking back. I'm like, oh, you bulimic. She, oh, you cheated. Uh, she is something. She just like whatever she thinks, thinks it she comes says, out. Yeah, I scream oh. at that clip. It sends me every single time. I'm just like Chloe. You're s- listen. The thing is, when I watched the show, because I did, I hadn't watched the Kardashians in a while, but I watched the newer Hulu version. You I think a all? lot of people did. I did, mm-hmm. uh, and I can tell Chloe wants so badly this normal like family and she wants love she wants a family she wants children she wants a family together and that's why i feel bad for her because i feel like she's kind of hopeless romantic in making it happen and she's facing the world scrutiny in her personal life like like people should be able to make bad decisions without the whole world raining down on them and like she knows they're bad decisions that she's making but like she has to deal with the repercussions of them you on a tell, different scale. They like are eating, it's eating her away, like eating at her. And how could show? it not? In the how, show? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the show. So how I'm could it not though? Like how, how could it not? But it's like, these are her decisions and for her to figure out, she can't just go by the world's guidelines of what we all think totally. she should do. Totally. Obviously we know this is a wreck, but like she's got to figure that out on her own, but it just sucks because she's dealing with the mental toll of the internet. Totally. And I, but I think that a lot of it has to do with like, and yeah, that fucking sucks. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. But like at the same time too, it's like people are were, are like rooting for her to like find the best that she can, you know, Gosh. because they like love her. Cause like, you know, I feel like a lot of people like for a long time, like she was the sister that everyone's like, oh, I fucking love Chloe. Uh-huh, She's for that a sister for a long time. time. And so as like, soon as Mr. Tristan started coming around, she started getting bad press. Mm-hmm. She was not as liked of a yeah, sister. And yeah. I would say she, definitely not now after he went and got the trainer who came out that was having his baby, proved yep. it was his baby. And now she's having baby two with him after that. Yeah. And the Jordan Woods drama. Yeah. All, it, it, there's like so, so many, like, many. So many things. And so I think a lot of people were just genuinely rooting for her. And it's like and a wanted the down. best for her. And it's almost like, damn. It's a huge it's something like people are like mad. There's like, damn, I'm disappointed in you. She hears Which a sucks. lot of scrutiny for it, though. Like, oh, she sure. gets wrecked online for this stuff. I'm sure she does. But, like, also, she's a massive public figure on a massive show. Yeah. And who, Tristan's like, on the show. Mm-hmm. He's on the show that's gaggy and it comes out on the show that he got the woman pregnant like on the show and you see it on the show yeah and like everyone is everyone like freaking oh, out oh yeah oh yeah like chloe quit filming like the sisters oh, no. found out while they were filming and they're just like close off and they're like oh my god does she know? that's horrible she didn't know it's just like that horrible. just su- like that just like really just genuinely like Sucks. I know because it's, it's still like their real life. I know, and like they're filming their life, but it's still like their life. It's, I'm sure a lot of it is curated, but yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of real moments too. 
that those moments are real because they definitely start to cut the cameras and they start mm. saying things like, did you see this? You know, like without saying what happened. Yeah. Um, what's really funny at the end of the season is Chris Jenner, like it kind of closes with that mm -hmm. situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at the end, Chris Jenner's in the interview seat and she's looking at her phone. And she's like, if you guys knew everything that happened, like in this family, yeah, that's how they close it. And the producer's could like, you could tell us. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, you're tripping. You're yeah, tripping. Y'all get a peek. <laughs> yeah. You get a peek. Yeah. Yeah. So. Cause I mean, a show like something, a show like that, like you only get literally a I would say like half part. of it's, if not more than half's curated. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have. Some of it's real. Some of it's I real. bet it's like a 33 percenter. Some yeah. of it's real. Some, some, some of it's curated. Curated. And then some of it's like something else entirely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? This one is more just because they're so famous already. They don't really have to create as much drama. So right. it's become it more of just like a vlog of their lives. Like mm -hmm. if she's going on SNL, there's no drama that happened on SNL. It's just like her going on SNL. Right. You know, like Kim. So that's kind of like less drama, um, I would say. But I still like, I liked, I really liked the Hulu. A lot of people said versions. that they liked it. It was great. I, I, I thought the they did a great. Disney version or whatever. Disney Hulu version. Yeah, it was great. So well produced. And I just love Kim. I've always loved Kim. Yeah. Like Kim mm -hmm. is definitely an icon to me. Always has been. Yeah. No, absolutely. You know? I, I, I mean, could not she's agree Kim more. Kardashian. She's Kim Kardashian, you know, and like that. I mean, a lot of people literally hate her. Uh, yeah. Literally. But if you're that famous and that loved, you're going to be that hated. You're going to be infamous. Yeah. She's infamous. She, she really is. is. Absolutely. What did you think about Chloe and Tristan having their second baby? I think. Like fully, like it's out now. I think, um,. It's a bad decision. I do too. I do. I think it's a bad. I think it's a poor decision on Chloe's part. I, I remember. So when I remember when I talked about it on like my stories a little bit, people were in my DMs and they were like, "Well, it's because she wants to have the same dad for yeah, both kids." Yeah, both of her kids. And I can a hundred percent understand mm -hmm. that. I think the hard part comes with like everything else that comes with it. Like that was your partner who cheated <sighs> on you. Like there's just so many bad parts of it that Dude. it's just like, oh my gosh, is it even like worth no. that? You know what I mean? Is it even no. worth all that like literal like heartache and strife and pain no. that she must feel? Because I can't imagine her not feeling that. No. Because that sucks. And like she's going to see him now. Forever. Be with other women mm -hmm. and that be in her face forever. Yeah. You know? And I know I mean, it, it already, already was. was like yeah. that, but it's like, let's just add fuel to the fire. I know. But I think I truly think she's just a hopeless romantic and wants yeah. love and wants that's to believe in the best. I'm sure she wants to believe she wants to be happy. A great situation. And I, and I just don't see this road taking her there. I don't either. But we wish her the best. And that's it for this episode. And of that cool is coverage. it for the literal tea. Honey. And that is it for the rapid fire tea that's been going on up in here. I mean. I mean, there's been there's some there's doozies been happening. There's been crazier, worse weeks. There's been totally. worse weeks, but this is what we got this there's some, week. There's some doozies. <laughs> I'm very I'm very intrigued to keep on this. Tana Monty, Sherry Addison journey. We'll follow up. I'm in it. We'll follow I'm up. I'm in it. Well, that's it, guys. We'll see you guys next week, every Friday, full coverage. Don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe and leave a comment down below of a couch upholsterer. And you know, literally, <laughs> literally, if you know anyone, y'all better Please. fucking tell us. Also, we love you guys so much. And just like Laura said, don't forget to rate on Apple TV, no, nope. Apple Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Spotify. Anywhere you Apple, listen to podcasts. I just reset. It's okay. I just had a full Sometimes reset. Sometimes we need a reset. My it's mind true. just turned off for it's a second. It. And she's back. Mm -hmm. We'll see you Spotify. in the next episode. Bye, Bye guys. guys.